hold on, hold on. Let me take a sip. Happy to have you back in here. Hello. Look at us together again. Oh, I feel so much better. For a second. I know. <laughs> for a hot minute. We got to meet in the middle somewhere, but we got it done today. So I'm excited for that. How was your weekend? Um, You were home. Yeah, I was home, but it was like a whirlwind home. It was just trying to like see the people, do the things, pack the things, organize the thing. Cause I shopped on Amazon a lot for my trip. Um, you, I needed sunscreen that didn't have any certain chemicals in it. I had to get like a specific kind of sunscreen for my trip to Aruba. Okay. So I had to order that on Amazon, of course, like 17 bucks. And I needed a bag to hold my flippers is what I'm calling them. Okay. <laughs> and my scuba stuff. Um, order that. So yeah, just a lot of prep for my trip. Cause it's a big I, trip. Yeah. Cause when I come back next weekend, I'm like in and out in 24 hours between this work trip and leaving for that. Oh, we did, um, my grandparents and my dad and I, we did Baxter's closing weekend. So we took oh, the boat. that's fun. That's such a Cape Cod thing. Yep. Took the boat over and we had like family inside sitting at a table. We rolled up in the boat. It was super fun. That was the last boat time. Um, probably for me. Yeah. I think that was it. You know, I think they'll, they might be able to get out for like a few more cruises cause the boat's still in the water and at least can go on like a few Harbor cruises, but probably for me. Yeah. Usually it's that weekend of indigenous people's Columbus weekend yes. that everyone's like, all right, that's, that's Don't usually that. the hard shut off around here. Yeah. We have There's a- some lingering going on. We had, um, What's the uh, Oyster Fest? Oh, this yeah, that weekend. was this weekend. I saw that blow up. People were all there. Looks like they were having a good time. It's a little too frat party for me now. It's, it looked it like it looked like everybody I didn't want to run into from high school that was there. <laughs> what so happens? I was like, happy to not At be what there. age does that happen where you I don't look know, at that those events? I while I was still in high school. Yeah. So I'm probably the wrong person. Well, homecoming was also this weekend. So my oh, daughter, yeah. it was the big to do with the, the dress. And then she was, she was not happy. Oh. I feel like when you have scenarios that you're supposed to be like, this is memories forever. These are the forced kind of yeah. moments that you're kind of like, meh, she's kind of meh about it. So afterwards she came I home, had a bath and cried and then snuggled with Cliff and I. Perfect. What's up? Homecoming. Hey, I don't know. I didn't go to homecoming. <laughs> it was not a thing. Um, I did not do it my senior year. Because I, I didn't want to do anything. I just wasn't year. popular. I just didn't do any of those things. <laughs> I didn't go to homecoming. I like barely showed up to prom. Everybody knows my prom story. I like showed up with my dad matching me or and took, <laughs> and took my best friend who was homeschooled to the other one. And she had more fun than I do. Those are my two proms. Um, Excellent. But th- that was that was it. Although I'm finding myself now like in because I'm getting back into like dating in the Cape Cod scene. Um, I'm like gravitating t- towards the people that were super popular in high school. Okay. So I don't know if I'm like trying to make up for lost is, time. Is it because <laughs> that they're here still or is it because. Oh, like they were you like they were that burnout. No, 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 <laughs> no not necessarily what I meant, but well, it's one just. Of them, but... <laughs> okay. But is it because like it's now the people that you're hanging out with again because of the person you're seeing or is it because they're just around? I don't know. I found out somebody mm. that I w- was seeing. Um was like a legitimate like prom king and i was like oh Oh, what well then that's so i didn't know that no i was there (laughs) that's awesome (laughs) um no but it was uh, i forgot that part (laughs) i like i it's just been funny for me to like kind of see how things come back around yeah um yeah so i don't know but so i mean i totally get it that she like i also think too there's so much in movies and in social media that like hype make this it whole way thing. bigger. Yeah, yeah. Like you have all these ridiculous ways that people are expected to get asked to prom and homecoming. Yeah, like poster boards and flat. I don't know. Used to just be like a, a sticky note on a locker, and now it's like this whole to do and this whole thing. Yeah, I think it hypes it up so much. So when you go into it and it's not as great as you thought, you're disappointed no matter what. My son is a freshman this year, so very down to earth about he, the whole situation. He, he played in the varsity football game. Oh, that's he actually cool. played, and then when it was time to go to the dance, he's like, "I'm not doing that." <laughs> So he came home and like video gamed with his bros. Like Perfect. he was good. He yeah. did not want to deal with any of that. None of my friends are going. I'm going. Okay, cool. And Great. I was like, okay, I'm fine with that. There are many years for him to have his yeah. his 
spot in the sun. Yeah. But uh, I'm I'm thankful it's not this year. I was always in Nutcracker rehearsal every single year for Homecoming. I yeah. never made it. Yeah. Prom, I blew off rehearsal and like got in trouble. Well, it's just very funny to watch the two of them are just kind of be their baby grown up selves right now. Yeah. And he is and, like sure in their decisions, but unsure yeah. about who they are at the same time. Like, I don't want to go to homecoming, but also like, what do I want to do with my life? Yeah. Like, it's like and very he's weird. Such a bro. Like, it's <laughs> such a thing. Like, I ordered this tea, mom. And so he was like, oh, that's my package. I was like, what is that? He's like, it's going to clear me out so I have more oxygen for when I'm training. What? And I'm like, oh, oh, well, you're 14. And before you start taking things, I should probably check with the doctor <laughs> to make sure they're fine. What the frick? It's fine, by the way. It was mullen tea or whatever it is. So, Oh, my God. And uh, it was it, interesting because I had had a fall festival over the weekend and I ran into one of my other doctor friends. And they're like, oh, yeah, that stuff's great. Like, I roll it up in my joints and have that. And so you're like, oh, good. Okay, thank cough you. Cough less. And I'm like, okay, well, at least I've heard from one doctor that it's fine. <laughs> Sorry, go back. The doctor that was saying that they roll it up in their yes, joints. You like, heard that. Okay, I yep. was just making sure we're all on mm -hmm. the same page. <laughs> hey, it's Massachusetts. We got a special kind of uh, health around here. <laughs> it's medicinal. <laughs> totally. It really was. It's medicine with their medicine. Oh, man. To take their medicine better. Do you have anything on the docket this week? No, not really. I am psycho. This oh. is like Wait, more than usual. We say this yeah. every week. Like it's no, 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 no. It's different. Halloween, so I feel like October is oh, fall, yeah, yeah, yeah. fall festivals. This is like everybody gets it all in so that we can hunker down for the winter. Yeah, but it never seems to hunker down for the winter. And it's still like it's like local take back still. <laughs> like we now actually get to do things in our community right. that are just for us without inviting all the rest of y'all. Even though, <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> And the weather has been like hit or miss, but I do like that it's cooler so I can be outside for prolonged periods. We had our final market uh, as we're getting ready to switch gears and go into Christmas season. Um, and this week I have <sighs> yeah. um, a Halloween ice skate. Yeah. So it's just like, I feel like I'm gonna in costume. I have seven costumes yeah. and I'm just like slowly Those trotting things. them out for Perfect. the things that I'm doing. We've got a fun little give back on Wednesday coming up and I'll talk a little bit more about it, but it's Pedal It Forward where one of our local florists is giving away two bouquets of flowers for mental health. Wow. Basically one for you to make your day brighter and then one for you to randomly give a stranger oh God, to just be like, that. here you go, have a great day. And Kelly spares no expense with these bou bouquets. They're beautiful. That's cool. I know. So it's just kind of a mental health pick me up. It's I on a Wednesday. Uh, there is definitely a reason why it's on a Wednesday because it's like technically the hump day, your worst day yeah. of the week, the day you're feeling your lowest or yeah. most stressed out or depleted the yeah. most. So yeah. So I've got a fun things to do also within oh. my interwoven Halloween parties and you know, from little kids to grown ups, it's Speaking fun. Speaking of holiday, both stores, because as we know, I'm currently running two. It's yeah. Fine. Yeah, that's fine. She's <laughs> fine. It's fine. It's fine. Both stores are inundated with product and shipment um, full of like sequins. Yeah, it's fourth quarter. Oh, God. And velvet oh. and little hats and mittens. And here we go. It's glitter, herpes of the. Gold craft world and silver and everything and jewel like everything's covered in jewels and <laughs> is shiny and what? It's yeah all I'm over opening me. up like hair bows. I'm like <laughs> I'm getting paid so much money to stand here and open up this box of hair bows right now. Um somebody's gonna do it. Yep. Somebody's gonna organize it. So my brain it. is fully in, in already in holiday in mode. Holiday. Yeah. I was um putting things in an Amazon cart for a Christmas tree yesterday. Like well, I'm just I know, there. I know, I'm just there. and we've already skipped over Thanksgiving. Well, yeah, Thanksgiving is like a pit stop for me. Like, <laughs> I can't really. I'm looking forward to the day where I get to like enjoy Thanksgiving in the fullest. And yeah. Not see Thanksgiving as like a day of dread mm. because I just anticipate. I keep trying to invite myself to my cousin in Vermont's house, but she doesn't answer the phone. So <laughs> if you're watching this right now, I want to come to your house for Thanksgiving. Yeah, why so. wouldn't you want to go? I go to my sister's, which is great because I. You know, I would not be able to host or anything on my own. Either but. that or Christmas. We're looking for something different, and I need to get away from my family that's around here. Perfect. Let's go. <laughs> Just for the ones turn. we like. That's it. <laughs> Seriously. All right. So, are we ready to take a look at the yeah. horoscope? Yeah. Tell me See what's what going kind on. Of, I know. Week. I need to have a good one. Okay. I've just had a lot on my plate. Uh, Aries, your best day is going to be today. Consider a trial oh. separation if you and your mate just can't come to terms. <laughs> <laughs> this does not sound great for you this week. You may have ignored sorry, or neglected sorry. your mate lately. You got to pull out all the stops. 
So it sounds like either walk away or do better. You were, yeah. it sounds like you were the problem. Yeah, it definitely <laughs> does sound that way without pointing fingers. Sorry, Aries. Uh, Tor that is my cousin. Hi. <laughs> Make your decision. Taurus, Monday is your day today. Love relationships will flourish. Talk to your emotional partner about your intentions. Uh, for Gemini, you are better off visiting Sorry, friends. We should go and repeat that Taurus one real Love quick. Love relationships will flourish. Are you listening? Keep going. Repeat it. Repeat that second part again. Love relationships will flourish. <laughs> I love being annoying. You guys. <laughs> Gemini, you're better off visiting friends or relatives that are entertaining at home. Your anger might be impossible to contain. Tomorrow is your best day of the week. Cancer, you're able to make changes in your home that are going to be favorable to all involved. Monday is the best day. Pick day of the week for you. Uh, Leo, someone close to you will get upset easily if you're insensitive to their needs. Don't be a dick. Wednesday is your best day. <laughs> That's what that means. Virgo, unrealistic promises will only get you in trouble. Things are looking up, though. Today's your best day of the week. Libra, you may think that gifts will win their heart, but it could add some stress from your lack of funds. But what if their love language is gifts, receiving gifts? Don't be too eager to start any debates. Stick to your own projects right now. Okay. That's what you've got, Do your Libra. own thing. Yep, Thursday. Forget them in their love language. Thursday, just wait for it. Scorpio, try to calm down emotionally about personal financial matters. Thursday is the best day for you. Sagittarius, be prepared to have relatives or close friends introduce you to new and exciting individuals. Wednesday is the pick day for you. Capricorn, you may find that purchases or entertainment could be expensive. Instruments will not be as they appear this week. Your philanthropic contributions will bring you praise. Jeez. Well, I am oh, being yeah, honored yeah. for the Merrill something oh, award yeah, yeah, yeah. on Wednesday. So I, I am getting praise this week for that. So. Impressive. Yeah. My pick day of the week is tomorrow, though. Okay. <laughs> and I am looking into ways to improve my health. I was at a gym today. I didn't work out. <laughs> I didn't work out. But Were you by the door? No, no. Uh, we were doing a live there. Oh, <laughs> you weren't even there. No, I'm DJing a boot camp Got thing. Got it. We're raising money. It's October. It's Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Oh, yes, And it we're is. doing it for the LA Fund. Oh. So I did go to a gym today. I dressed like I was going to go to a gym. I sat on a spin bike today. I didn't spin. <laughs> sat on it. Okay. All right. I, I did order the screen for my Peloton. So I might be back in action again. Wow improving so exactly well my horoscope is apparently right aquarius things at work have been moving quickly and you might be feeling a little uncertain about okay, the changes here we go i gotta hold my breath friday is the best day for you Ugh. pisces read between the lines before you sign your name you might find Ooh. that children are not as accepting as you've been you should be looking for ways to spoil yourself Heed the advice given by family and old reliable family members and friends. I feel like it's all over the place. Yeah, your lucky days today. Super. So get out there and get lucky. It just feels like that's <laughs> like all, all all over the place. Children are assholes. Yep. Who else we got there? You should be looking for ways to spoil yourself. Okay. Have a little self-love indulgence. Yep. Heed the advice given by family or old reliable friends. Listen to your dad. <laughs> <laughs> and read and between the lines before you sign your name on something. Don't sign contracts. There you go. Okay. There you go. Your horoscope. Read between the lines. Mm -hmm. mm. Sure. Okay. Let's just say that even more for somebody who has like a full commitment phobia. Going on. <laughs> <laughs> no, everything's a trap. Like, I already have decision anxiety, but let's make that worse this week. It's, it's a trap, Tori. <laughs> it's always a trap. Okay. Should be perfect. <laughs> All right. Well, she lives her life in that trap. Did you get to go see the Taylor Swift movie? I bailed. Oh. I was so tired. I had tickets and plans. And then I was like, no, not Friday, Sunday. And then I just got to yesterday. I was like, I keep doing it. All right. Let's I get can't... into what's roasting. So this is that because Taylor is still continually roasting. $125 million worldwide in ticket sales. No one's surprised by this. $97 million in North America alone. <laughs> Pittance. Cool. Just small bits. Sure. I had watched an old documentary about the whole Scooter Braun thing, and I don't know why I felt the need to watch it in between doing something. Yeah. But it just happened to be on while I was doing other tasks. Yeah. And I just really was like, wow, I definitely kudos to you. To Taylor? Yeah. Yeah. With all the stuff that she had to deal with. And yeah. Toxic males. Yeah, for sure. I don't know. She's She is living now she's like ever she's just she's i can't 
even the photos are so cute okay so she was at the premiere on wednesday night in a really cool beautiful blue dress and then saturday night she was out in new york city she made a surprise appearance at snl oh, I saw- can you imagine just being like i'm just gonna show up and i'll be able to get in sidebar SNL. i've i've been a saturday night live fan since the beginning of time like since my birth it's as old as me it's uh, always been in my life yeah and I recently they like, cut the cord and had no way to watch regular television. Oh man. And I was like, what? Um, I can't live like this. I need to buy this. Well, we're not buying that. We're not giving that company any money. Can we find alternate ways to get this program? I can't. So my husband moaned <laughs> for a solid 20 minutes, finding a way that was suitable to him and also to me so that I could watch this one program last watch night. Because <laughs> that's all I wanted to watch. It was on my mind, and I finally had the moment. And yesterday, everything got away from me. Here I am presented with 8 p.m. I want to watch this. Let's go. And then he futzed about it, got it on Sling TV, very happy. And that's all everyone could talk about was the fact that how Taylor Swift finds time to have a gazillion dollar movie opening and then be on Saturday Night Live. She just, and I, I'm pretty sure this was not planned. Like, no. Travis was in it. So she was like, I'll go and support you. And they saw her in the studio and was like, actually, LOL, Ice Spice is here. She's our musical guest. Do you want to announce her? Like, you guys are buddies. And she was like, absolutely. So she went out and announced it. How do you, how do you have the foresight to put those two? Or like, how, how did SNL maneuver it to put Travis Kelsey and Ice Spice in the same episode? And then no Taylor Swift is going to show. Like, how did you how well, did you do all that? I mean, it, there's no surprise there that Pete Davidson and Travis Kelty and like that whole group all became friends when he hosted. So it was like my I buddy just... happened to be in town, and I think that his brother was playing in New Jersey. So it like wasn't a stretch. I just how does it to get over there and be how like, does hey, it all conveniently work together because that you put all of those people. That's what's think crazy. Think of it when me. money is no object to you. Like that's not a bar to just showing up somewhere. And wasn't it the premiere? Is that right? Yeah, it was a it was the first SNL of the season. However, just, the writers were on strike. We finally got everybody back. They had Pete Davidson there. And Pete was like, Hey, yo, Travis, obviously your girlfriend's like in the limelight right now. Why don't you guys bop on by? I've got this. So the opening one was Pete was really serious, actually near to tears, talking about everything that's going on um, in Jerusalem yeah, and course. what is going on in real life right now, which is super scary. Israel. Yeah. Um, but he opened it up with kind of like, if anybody gets it, I do. His father passed away in 9-11. Yeah. He was seven years old when this happened. So he did this like very small, quiet, sad monologue yeah. to open up the show. Yeah. And I was like, oh my God, what are they going to go? What's going to happen from here? They didn't even like really introduce the new cast member, but the opening thing was a scene of and the NFL. And honestly, I've been listening to a lot of sports radio because it's pretty much the only thing that I can stomach lately, even though I don't know why, because yeah. I hate the Patriots are so bad oh right God, now. So bad. And I'm so angry about it. But I find myself listening, and that's all they're talking about is Taylor Swift. <laughs> Which well, it's like all the NFL is talking about anyway. It's hysterical because it's like, oh, God, we've got something else to talk about. Yeah. So it was, you know, Pete Davidson on the sidelines being a reporter, like showing his bracelets <laughs> and like, where, no, we haven't seen her on the sideline. And he's like, you're the, this is your job. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about sports. And no one could talk about it. And then they're like, can we get somebody that could talk about sports? And then Travis Kelsey comes in. It's so that's how so it was funny. funny. You hadn't known it was going to be Taylor yet. Yeah. And then, First one was Pete Davidson first um, show. And we might as well just mush this all together as one SNL update. So it's Pete Davidson doing a Barbie Ken um, video. I heard it was so funny. It was so good. It was so good. He poked fun of absolutely everything we mock him for. Oh my God. I love that. From crashing his cars to having stupid girlfriends (laughs) to being known for everything except the things you want to be known for, like your TV shows and your comedy. Like he poked a hole and fun at himself through the entire thing. That's unbelievable. Which I really loved. But then, you know, obviously the episode trailed off from there after, you know, Taylor introduced Ice Spice for the second time. And, also, quick fashion update. What the hell was she wearing on that second update? It looked like she had three fanny packs that were clipped together. Oh, I couldn't see. I didn't see it. I can look it up right now. It was it was three fanny packs clipped together. And we're talking about Taylor Swift or Ice Spice? No, Ice Spice. Oh, Taylor Swift I'm, looked normal. Okay, I was gonna say that's shocking to me. I have no concept of 
Um, I didn't really know what to do with the outfit that was fanny packs. Um, but it was interesting. I did enjoy the episode. Yeah, you can go like zoom into it. Oh yeah, terrible. I mean, it, I don't fanny know. packs. If you zoom in closer, they are no, literal I believe, ones. I believe you. I don't, <laughs> I don't know. It's a fashion choice. Weird. Okay. Anyway, uh, the episode was great. I thought Pete was really good. He. I just still can't get over the fact that it was like SNL. We have we have an opening. Yeah. And. Um, Pete's coming back, and then while he's here, like, that could have been the whole episode, and it would have been totally fine. It really wasn't even an opening. It was just like, come on, and we'll work yeah. you into the episode. Yeah. My friends are hanging out. We're going to make room for them. Okay, move over. Yeah, totally, because you can make. Uh, I just think it's... We don't we don't understand. So, I mean, I guess if you're barring financial obligations, which are none for them, yeah. sky's the I limit think, on what you feel happens, like doing It today. happens to be his bye week, Travis's bye week. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's just too conveniently all put together for me sidebar i did manage to move my son's charity tickets it is patriots tickets but we're playing the kansas city chiefs so everyone wanted to buy them yeah no kidding <laughs> it's like raffle for the football team he comes home and he's like oh i have to sell these all i had to do is text two girlfriends and they were all purchased you're welcome yeah here's, no kidding. here's your donation more school sales need to be like this yes Something that know people, what the actually, people buy. actually want <laughs> exactly, and it's not yeah. the Patriots. It's a chance to see Travis Kelsey and or Taylor Swift in our space. But then everybody went out. Yeah, after the episode. Yep. So the 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 boring thing is that um, Pete shows up with his new girlfriend. Whatever. What's her face? Madeline yep. Klein. Do we even need realize, to learn her name? Well, except I didn't realize she's the ex girlfriend of Chase Strokes, who's now with Kelsey Ballerini. So, all right, we're all switching it up. I love it. Um, but Pete loves a good broken heart. I feel like Pete always swoops oh in God, when somebody's breaking so up with somebody. True. Actually, I think they broke up a long time ago, but either way, yes, I agree. It does like whenever somebody's put upon, he's like, I'll go. She seems vulnerable. <laughs> I <laughs> he I'm, is that guy. I'm laid back. He is that guy. He is I'm the like no the, threat. the new the like the <laughs> the like friend with benefit, the like rebound right? guy. He's totally the rebound. I'm guy. no threat. He's not. <laughs> um, but then we saw some absolutely glorious PDA from Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey that I just, the the details of this are what have me. It's obsessed. just real. The way he like grabs her waist, the way he like moves the bodyguard out of the way to open the door for her, get her out of the car, grabs her waist. Well, he's ginormous. You like that big guy, small girl situation. She's super tall. Yeah. She gets to wear heels out for the first time, like in regular life. She gets to yeah. wear she doesn't have heels. to deal with tiny Joe anymore. Absolutely amazing. And then when you see close-ups on their face, he's got like red lipstick and his mustache and her foundation on his nose. Obsessed. Where do you think Joe Alwyn feels right now? Oh my god, I could not care less. <laughs> nobody cares. literally like by the way nobody go cares. to england and cry no <laughs> nobody cares like by the way you were on so fast right you were a little bit of a conversation with um maddie healy but now literally nobody cares like Bye. the entire world is shipping this so hard Sorry. even katie perry is commenting on uh instagram post saying i ship like yeah. everybody in the world is on board with this relationship and it's so cute we'll be broken if it ends they're just i'm enjoying the fact that she's so she's having fun with it and yeah. she like knows everybody's all about it and they're having their time, but they're being a little bit public. They're giving the people what they want. I just, I love it. It's cute. You're on board now. You were uh, like, I'm, I just don't care, but also I find it cute. It's like, it's not upsetting me in the It makes news. me want to like get out of a car with my guy, like opening the door for oh. me and get those little mo. I just think it's so. I'm not feeling more romantic oh God, or anything so, like I'm that. I'm so but. jealous. Maybe I'm just jealous. <laughs> well, I mean, you you got something new going on, so let that. Yeah, don't get moments like that, though. Well, you might now that you're spending so much time away from each other. That feels like a stretch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying over here. All right, what's going on with Simone Biles? Um, my relationship is like chicken nuggets and fries. Like, well, we're in the world. <laughs> different it's not it's not getting out of limos and heels well, with the I mean, once again that's a level of opulence that we're never going to experience <laughs> it's true sorry we're not getting out of a limo to see snl yeah right life goals um but anyway just wanted to keep it real for the people wondering what my situation is like chicken nuggets my relationship's like chicken nuggets that's it 
chicken nuggets. You heard it first. <laughs> Who's not having chicken nuggets? Simone Biles. What's going on with her? She had her fifth trick named after her. She's the world's most winningest gymnast. Yeah, she left for a little while, dealt with her mental health. Got she's married. Back, right? And then comes back and wins more. Right. Uh, oh. <laughs> but wait, hold this. Yeah. Sorry, guys. I like couldn't do the flippy turny thing before, but like I'm going to just come back now. Oak, oak. Yeah. Sometimes you got to build yourself back better. She has got, here's, I have a question though. She's got five tricks named after her. The one that she just did was called the Biles 2, which like, LOL, most people don't get like a Biles 1. But like, what are the other three named? I don't know. If this is Biles 2, wouldn't this be like Biles 5? Like what's, what are the, I couldn't find any information. I need a breakdown <laughs> if someone's got it. Any like, gymnasts want to give Tori the information, the, you can send us the messages. trick, the name, Direct and when them to it was, Tori. I don't when care. it was done. Why does she not care? I don't know. I just don't dig it. 10 years later, she got her first, or 10 years ago, she got her first skill named after her. And now she's got her fifth. There's something about Olympi Olympic anything. I'm just like, meh about. How about a meh on you today? <laughs> Get I on just board. Be enthusiastic it. or don't. Yay. Okay. <laughs> I tried. I was super sad about Suzanne Summers passing away. She died yesterday. See, something I couldn't care about. Oh. If you had grown up what? and done any, Suzanne Summers invented this, the thigh master. That's covered in dust. I just I, obviously. <laughs> do you think I'm using the thigh master? It's 105 years old. This is like the first contraption that she was at home getting her legs into shape. Suzanne you Summers. you put it between your legs and then yeah. like resist? Yeah. This was like, feels. She invented that this. That feels like. <laughs> I'm shocked. You know how to say something? I'm shocked a woman invented this. I, right. Right. <laughs> She probably didn't, but she probably touted it. At they probably rate, were like, if a man comes out and says, I made this for women's exercise, all every woman in the world will revolt. I loved her because she was in the show that I really loved, Three's Company. Oh, yeah. And But she played the ditzy blonde. Like, she was the first OG ditzy blonde that was like, act after the show to be like, by the way, I'm not a ditzy blonde. I'm actually a businesswoman. Right. I'm actually brilliant. And, and yeah. here's my whatever stupid contraption that millions of Americans went out and bought. She was just an absolutely phenomenal human being when it came to stuff like that. And I just loved her entrepreneurship okay. uh, and being something that she totally wasn't. So that's all I care about. She was only 70. Today's her 77th birthday. Wow. She died the day before her birthday. Ooh, also brutal. sucky. Right? <laughs> like, that's just shit. Did she die of natural cancer? Breast cancer. Oh, um, She was quietly battling it. She has had some issues with her health beforehand, but it was kind of like very quiet. And then all of a sudden, aggressive breast cancer died before anybody really even knew about it. Oy. So, yeah, it was definitely Awful. a surprise and horrible to be the day before your birthday. Sorry, Suzanne Summers. I'll fly master a couple of times and think of you. It's under my a desk. A couple of times <laughs> was the key to that. Listen, I'm waiting into my fitness journey as my horoscope I'm says. I'm thinking about it. Exactly. I'm not going to do it. I'm just thinking planning about it. it. I'm planning it. <laughs> um, I couldn't figure out why Jada Pickett-Smith was taking over so many headlines. Why? Until I realized that apparently she wrote a book. Yeah. Or a memoir. Okay. She needed somebody to pay attention to her. I hate this woman so much. Yeah, I'm on and board I try with not that. To like, you, like, I try not to like hate people I don't know. But something about like the clout that she chases. Yeah. And like, she doesn't need to be you so thirsty. Out, you came out with a memoir conveniently after the slap, the Chris mm -hmm. Rock slap. Yeah. After your podcast show was declining. Yeah. And then you talk about all of this. You you opened up everything in the book so inappropriately. Like, like fair, you, affairs you, with your son's kids, friends. It's gross. Uh, it's weird. It is weird. And I'm not going to buy the book and I'm scrolling past the headlines. Yeah. And I I'm just... not, a, I'm not a person that sits in judgment either of your life, but when you're so wanting attention it's from yes. everyone, it's, it's almost sad. Like, what's the point of this book? Is there a lesson to it? Are you telling us to be more open because you can't judge a book by its cover or what is it? Because mostly I'm just getting these ridiculous headlines of things yeah. I don't care about. Like the fact that you moved out of your house only two years ago, then you went, you, you separated from your essential sugar daddy, your husband that was probably financially supporting you because he's ridiculously famous and supporting all your kids, mm. separated two years ago. Then you needed to figure out how to make money. So you wrote a book. Like, okay, that's clear. Right. I just don't know why we need all this information or why we care. And, right. I, and I feel bad for Will Smith, who I feel like, despite his 
moments. He's really had like a steady career over his life. Yeah. And maybe I'm wrong, but I feel like the headlines about him have not really ever been about him. They've right. been about her. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I feel like he loves her and he loves his kids and he would do anything for them. And I feel like she's But he just... himself is not like the center of the drama. And yeah. I feel bad for that because he's wrapped up in it so much so that he posted on Instagram for the first time amid all of this crap and basically just said, fun fact, I can take a nap almost everywhere. And it's him laying on a boat and his phone is just constantly dinging. Yeah. And he's like, I'm just, I'm tuning it out. I'm turning my notifications off. Yeah, I you have to at that point. I can't even, I don't know what I would be if I had a spouse like that. Yeah. I really don't. I don't know. I just, I feel bad about it, but I'm like, I'm over her. Like, I'm over having information. Yep. And everything that you're telling me is just t showing me that you're, like, classless. Will, throw some water on her. She's thirsty and yes. she's bothering us all. But he can't come out and say anything. No, no. As the mother of his kids, he can't come out and say anything. He should just, he's doing what he can do, is just be quiet and stay out of it. And I feel bad. He's already learned his lesson trying to defend her for, what did that get you? Yes, crap. Got you canceled. Which is also weird. It's, just, the whole thing is weird. I mean, the the he should not have. Maybe I can't tell that. anybody how to behave, but neither one of you behave your best selves. And now I would like to stop. But now we have like a snips. completely different view on it. <laughs> like Will went up and defended the mother of his children, despite the fact that she was doing whatever the fuck she wanted mm. to do. He there was a bad joke about her that yeah. probably could have potentially made her feel insecure. He went up and defended her uh, for the world to see. He gets canceled. And then she comes out and makes a tell-all about how poorly she treated him. Like, actually, now I feel bad for him. Yeah. That's all. Or maybe that's, that's why she did it. Maybe she's trying to take the blame over there so that she can get him his career no, back. No, because... Mama needs other, some money. But there was other... <laughs> there were other, like, uh, headlines where apparently in the book she was saying, she's like, I don't know why he did it. Yeah. I don't, I don't know. Okay. I, I can stop talking about it. I just, right? Uh, she bothers me. <laughs> Let it go. <laughs> I got sucked in last night before we leave. And I know we don't normally do content recommendations, but we've made this a content recommendation a long time ago. And, oh, the book. Oh, Lessons in Chemistry is so good. It's, it's on good. Apple Plus. I've watched two Apple episodes. Plus. I was like, oh, well, this is going to text my friends. Who's got, who's got Apple Plus and is going to share their password? <sighs> That's so annoying. It's really good. Although I'm still in the suits. For, uh, spoiler alert for anybody that's watching it or not watching it or behind me or for me i just got to the part where mike is in jail so. oh that's when i stopped watching that's when i got irritated no 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 it. i'm so into it because you know he's gonna get out so you're like how many episodes are we gonna deal with him in jail before we figure out how he's gonna come out and i think it's gonna be this current episode that i'm in and i'm watching um but yeah so i, I will get to this after all right if i could steal somebody's do you have disney plus can i steal your disney plus I think I have Disney Plus. Perfect. We'll talk. Okay. All right. Sounds great. Get perky with us Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, the First Shot Morning Show. Look at us together again. The First Shot Morning Show is produced by Lemon Radio. When life gives you lemons, make radio. We encourage everyone to listen happier.com.